What are the best stocks to invest in for a student who has no experience in investing in the long term? Buy an ETF. Look up ETFs. I don't know what the best one is for the U.S. market. Is, are they Vanguard's? What What are the ETFs for the U.S., Drew? Yeah, if you're going to do it like a passive index, just like, uh, yeah, uh, Vanguard e ETFs. Is Look up Vanguard way. ETFs. So basically, you just keep putting money in and it's, you, you're buying the entire stock market. So, uh, you know... If you're not, if you don't want to look at it, you don't want to day trade, you don't want to have to be a great investor, then as the market goes up, you'll make more money. And they pay very low, uh, they take very little fees. What is it? What is the management fee? Half a percent? Uh, not even. It's like, it's like usually between a quarter of a percent and as low as 0 0.9, 0 0.09 percent. There you go. So check that out. Vanguard ETFs. Uh, is it matter? Does it matter if I'm not from the US? Oh, what country are you from? So I'm from Canada and I use iShares. Uh, I don't know what country you're from. Or it de also depends on what, like you could buy Vanguard if you're not in, in the US, but it, it tracks the US market. So you just gotta figure out what's the market that you wanna invest into. So I, I track the Canadian market. I'm invested into Canada. Drew, do you buy, do you have Vanguard, Drew? Yeah, I've got a Vanguard account. Drew, Drew has Vanguard, yeah. so he's tracking the US market. So what, what, every market has their own version of it. So it just starts with what country do you think you want to invest your money into? But you could buy Vanguard if you wanted to. You don't have to be US. 